Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's time for another manga volume review. Welcome once again. We're going to be reviewing Honey Trap Shared House, which is a volume that was sent to me by Yem Press to review for you guys. Uh, this is definitely um, one that, you know, it was a little outside of my genres, not not too far outside. Um, I'll explain why, but it definitely has a warning explicit content sticker on it. It was sealed. So, FYI, just from the get go, um, this is definitely. Um, teenagers up type of content uh, I'll explain the different stuff that it does come with it but um, uh, uh, the, the story itself the decent story um, Yen Press is a great company that releases various amounts of genres when it comes to their anime and manga and light novels which I am highly appreciative of that because uh, I'm able to read genres that maybe I don't always reach out to so it's it's always great to be able to read more of stuff that maybe is not in my comfort zone so um yeah thank you again to Yen Press for sending this to me if you haven't checked them out go check them out great company they have a lot of other companies under their umbrella so make sure you check those out as well also you can subscribe to my channel I have quite a bit of manga volume reviews as well as light novels and webtoons that are releasing weekly uh, multiple weekly so make sure you are catching all those there's quite a bit of them already out and more to come for sure so Okay, Honey Trap, Share House, uh, this this is basically it. Won't be able to share a lot from the actual manga just because of the of the warning content. Um, trying to see if there's you know some good good uh, stuff where where I can share. So we do have our main protagonist, which is him, Hayato. Now Hayato is a Japanese spy, and essentially he is. He's used to catch other spies, um, and the government has created this fake entity of a USB drive that has a lot of information from the government, and basically a bunch of spies are looking for it, and the way they, they do it is they, they're basically enticing them with uh, a lie because there's no information in that usb it's just so that spies can go try to get it and he can then catch them and kill him so um that's the the essence of the story or at least the beginning um there is two girls that do show up first this is the first one that shows up um this is his childhood friend uh then there is another one who shows up eventually as well I'm trying to find a good picture that maybe won't be too you know rough on the eyes uh but she shows up as well and um as you can see when they were younger they were pretty close to each other they all actually ended up being raised in a, a orphanage and because they were raised in an orphanage um they were adopted by different families and because of that um they ended up going different directions um but all essentially ended up being spies so the first one she actually is a russian spy the second one who does show up in like halfway to the volume she's actually uh a spy from what's kind of like the u.s um and both of them are basically there for the intel now all three have the same idea and that is they know that their spies each other but none of them want to believe that the other person knows that they're spies so all of them are trying to seduce each other to basically convince them to go to their side and that way they don't have to kill each other um a fourth character shows up and this is actually one of hayato's uh family members from as when he was growing up after being adopted and this girl she's also a spy from what seems to be like the british side so um yeah that in a nutshell is kind of the volume um where does the explicit come well there's actually a lot of explicit to it um there is a lot of violence a lot of gore a lot of action i will say that pretty good action when when the action actually does happen so i would say 
that's a plus where's the fault well it is a lot of fan service in this in the sense of there's very explicit scenes with the girls and the guy again they're trying to seduce each other so you can only imagine what it is um and yeah it, it, it is one of those that if it wasn't for that it probably would have been five times better the, the story itself could carry it um I, I said it one and too many times. There's a lot of writers and a lot of people that create stories that, to an extent, they have to decide if the story is good enough to push itself through or if they have to rely on stuff like this when it comes to, like, having to create fan service and stuff like that. Um, now, the premises of the story itself revolves around this idea anyways of them essentially attracting each other so that they they can betray their country and become a uh, essentially a um double spot you know you know you you're you think you're for one but you're actually betraying that one to be for the other so um it's 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 all right <laughs> it's all right out of 10 i'm actually gonna give this one a 5.5 5. um it i i i knew what i was going into it i didn't think it was gonna be as explicit there is series that yen press sent me that are like this that are maybe one or two pages like that and everything, everything else is action and they're so good you know they're they really are um there's a lot of series like that uh in fact um I, I, in 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 i think the fan service side of those series sometimes are expressed more in the animes less in the manga which sometimes that's why people tend to just read the manga and not, not watch the anime but this one the whole premises surrounds that so I, I will say that it's it's a little downfall to it the end of the volume they're basically in this predicament where they have to find a new home and it's kind of like okay you know it, 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 there's like no other direction other than they're going to be seducing each other the entire time uh, there's there's no really clear direction of where else this could go other than eventually they'll end up together and someone will have to betray some someone so yeah uh that in a nutshell is the review for the series let me know what you guys think uh should i review more of these should i stick to other stuff i don't know I, I do try to venture off my genres just so i can uh have a uh you know a plentiful of of reviews for you guys but sometimes i end up with this stuff so it is what it is uh thank you for your love and support thank you to yempress for sending me a copy um they, they like i said have a broad uh, genre collection so if you're into this kind of stuff then great go check it out go buy it if you're not then there's other stuff there's other genres uh you guys can watch the videos here and you'll see all the different stuff they have so thank you for your love and support guys and like always don't be strangers see you guys